Dropping through platforms is one of the most basic things you can do in Smash. By tapping down on a platform, you can fall through it. And no, today I'm not going to be talking about the buffer system, but I'm going to be talking about one character that can't drop through platforms the way other characters normally can, and the result of that. You gotta pay attention to them. Let's get into it. So let's really quickly go over the universal mechanics of dropping through a platform. If you hold down for two frames, one, two, you'll start dropping through a platform, all right? Uh, you can't do it by tapping down for one frame. Uh, because I guess they didn't want you to accidentally buffer uh, drop through platforms if you're trying to like land on a platform with a fast fall because you would accidentally very easily go through the platform. And when you try to do an aerial through the platform, you also have to wait two frames. So look, one, two, wait a frame, then hit A, and then you'll do your aerial, right? Uh, if you try to do it quicker than that, you will still get a grounded jab or grounded whatever move you try to do. I've used A, but you can also use like forward A and stuff like that, and I'll show this as an example. Just one, two, and then immediately do A. You end up getting jabbed still, and I'm pretty sure that would happen with the other ground moves as well. One, two, forward tilt? Yeah. So you have to wait another frame in order to do an aerial. Again, probably just to counteract some buffer weirdness that would happen otherwise, right? So you wait two frames to drop through a platform to do an aerial. Very, very simple, and it's it's really smooth. Obviously, you can get stuck on platforms if you're trying to tap down too quickly, but that's not exactly what I want to go over in this video because every character, still in general, as long as you abide by those two rules, uh, you can drop through platforms very, very easily, right? You can also buffer them. Uh, I don't know the mechanics of this. I just know the timing for my moves uh, that you can basically drop through. I think it's a four frame buffer window or something like that instead of uh, the general 10 or hold buffer window, probably just like your hard landings uh, in general. So I would definitely recommend practicing like landing with an aerial and then dropping through platform or like dropping shield dropping through platform just in general but as I mentioned there is one character that does not operate this way let's talk about him do you know who the character is that can't do this properly let me know down in the comments and while you're down there don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications ring the bell did you guess Terry Bogard because if you did you would be right Terry does not have the same drop through mechanics as literally every other character in the game. There's a good reason for it, but it does end up leading to a bunch of little interaction. So I'm just gonna do what I was doing with Pikachu before. It is a two frame input of holding down, delay a frame, then aerial. Let's see what we get with Terry. One, two, wait a frame, hit A for Nair. Suddenly, do you see how long it took for that Nair to come out? You can still technically do the input the same, but let's count how many frames there were between me hitting the Nair button and Nair actually starting. One, two, wait a frame, Nair. Should come out here. Instead it comes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames later. So instead of delaying a frame and then it coming out immediately, it, you have to delay a frame and then it comes out ten frames later. Which basically means that Terry effectively can't drop through platforms the same way, right? It's so much slower when he does his aerials, so it's going to be a lot harder to end up uh, getting like landing aerials on people's shields because of this weird exploit. You also can't really fast fall through platforms the same way, um, which is odd. I didn't actually think about that until just now, so let me test that with the DK. So when you're trying to fast fall off of a platform, right, I'm gonna, you know, hold down and then tap one, two, delay a frame, DK starts going through, and then I'm gonna tap down again. And I wanna see when that little spark shows up for your fast fall. Okay, so it does seem like you have to tap it again, which is fine, let's find the timing. One, two, and now let's wait a couple frames, three frames, hit down, and then I start the fast fall. You see that little twinkle, right? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get it exactly the frame. One, two, wait a frame, two frames, them down. Okay, so to fast fall, it seems like you have to wait three frames uh, after the, uh, you know, you do the first down input. So basically, but you can you can essentially double tap down very, very quickly and get a fast fall. However, with Terry, that is not the case, right? One, two, and then I'm going to wait one, two, tap down. I don't get it until like period there, right? But then one, two, wait one, two, three frames, then tap down. I'm still not fast falling. I'm still going to have to wait a large number of frames, one, two, then one, two, three, four, five, tap down, still no fast fall, right? So a lot of characters can drop through platforms and do immediate aerials, and Terry has to wait, I'm pretty sure still those 10 frames in order to actually get that fast fall, which is crazy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
There we go. If I wait 12 frames, I can do a fastball. Let's try 11. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then tap down. So if you wait 11 frames after the initial two frame window, that's when you can fastball. And I'm pretty sure that's the same input for the Nair technically, because uh, it's 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then I'm going to tap Nair, 10, 11. Yeah, so it's the same It's the same amount of frames. Uh, I think maybe the aerial comes out one frame earlier because you can buffer it. But still, it is still a large window that you can't fast fall or can't do your aerials, which again, is very unlike other characters, right? The fact that you have to wait so long is kind of ridiculous, but the reason for it is actually pretty simple. In terms of the fighting game characters, Terry has by far the most complex inputs, and by that I mean he has double quarter circle and whatever he has with his power geyser, which would be a quarter circle back then half circle forward, going from down to, you know, in this case left and then all the way back to forward. So you have to delay that much because the game wants to cancel the fall through animation with the power geyser because there's literally no possible way to do it that fast. Yeah, could you buffer the entire input in like the landing lag of something? Sure, but otherwise there is literally no way to do it. If you just wanna like just do it in neutral, there's no way to do it fast enough where if the game was just reading your two frame input of like your two frame, oh, you fell through the platform, time to do an aerial, you would literally never be able to get power geyser in neutral ever. So the game goes, hey, actually it takes longer for you to fall through the platform. Um, so you can do power geyser, right? Because again, you have the ability to just be like, I'm gonna like parry in neutral and then just whoop, right? And then that moves crazy broken, right? Super, super good. Like look how long you have to wait for these. It's so crazy. But so as a result of this, right, uh, Terry a lot of the times is going to more so be running off of platforms, right? He's going to be doing runoff forwarders, which these just look weird, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's all auto turnaround characters. But he's going to basically be either jumping off of platforms, right, or running off of them in order to get his pressure, right? That's why if you watch literally like any Riddles game, if he's ever on a platform, he's literally running off the platforms. He's almost never doing this because it is so slow. Like even if I'm going to do like drop through air dodge, right? Which is sometimes a good option because you want to like drop through, but you're scared of someone hitting your uh, drop through or your aerial that you want to do. So you drop through air dodge, right? One, two, and then I start dropping through and I'm going to tap shield. The air dodge is so late, right? Let's do it frame by frame again. One, two, starts dropping through shield. So that's frame one, right? This is the, this is the third frame. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, And that's when you start your air dodge as opposed to other characters where it will be frame fast. Instead of frame, saying frame fast, I just want to test. One, two, starts dropping through, shield. It literally just waits one extra frame. That's it. Terry has to wait 10. That's insane to me. And I want to look really quickly at just some gameplay so I can show you exactly what I mean in terms of how it interacts with like Terry on platforms, right? I'm sure that they went to a platform stage and if Terry ever jumps on these platforms, he's basically almost exclusively going to run off of them. Right? You saw runoff up air from Riddles there. Again, runoff on platform. A runoff platform there from Riddles. Like, I wonder if he ever even drops through. There's another runoff, right? Another runoff. He quite literally, in like the six instances we've seen of Terry on platform, has not dropped through platform yet. Look at this, it's consistent. Again, we see Riddles not going through platform there. Like it is quite literally every single time a Terry's on a platform, another runoff, right? Again, another runoff. You're not even gonna see the Terry's do it for position uh, because it's just so slow that they might as well run off the platform backwards. Again, run off platform. He's quite literally never going through these platforms. That was a nice ass combo. And so, how does that interact with your gameplay? Well, I would love to tell you. So. If you are fighting a Terry, right, you need to be aware that they will basically, at least if they're aware of this, right, which they should be if they're a Terry player, um, they're basically never going to drop through platform, right? They're always going to do runoffs, uh, whether it's, you know, this way or this, or like, you know, trying to run off that way. So if you are a character like even this DK, right, you know that you are basically 100% safe here. Technically, no, because they can drop through and do their aerials or whatever and get like that big damage. So again, Technically, a Terry can still drop through and, and hit you here, but it's less likely uh, because of that lag, right? So like you two, you do technically still have to look out for like 
will fall through up airs, but again, it's going to be so slow relatively. I want to get like the day one combo. Look at that damage. Uh, but yeah, so like technically, even though Terry can do that, it is significantly less likely for them to drop through platforms. So if you are under a platform against Terry, even like if you're directly in the center, DK is a big character, right? I can't hit him here. I mean, I can drop through and then do it my stuff. So like, you know, I definitely don't recommend just being like, oh, well, Terry can't hit me. Therefore, I can do whatever I want. If you do something laggy that doesn't hit the platform, like DK randomly forward smashes, I will go through the platform and hit you, right? Because it doesn't matter how bad it is comparatively, there's still a ton of time. However, relatively, you are safe under platforms against Terry because he can't hit you because they're not going to drop through platform, right? If you literally, you can almost react to the drop through because you know that they're going to be so slow. Can they double jump after they start dropping through platform? Yeah, they even have to wait to jump, right? It's literally, they just can't do anything. Um, honestly, it kind of bothers me that this is a thing because the other fighting game characters don't have this. Granted, their inputs are a lot simpler, so it makes a little bit more sense. But also, in my opinion, if this was going to exist, it should only exist with Go, and then without Go, he would be able to do these, um, like drop through aerials. I understand the concept of not wanting to do that, because one, you would have to program him differently, and two, he would feel different in the game, whether or not he had Go or not. But like, his other inputs are simple, right? They're quarter circles and dragon punch motions, which are the same thing that, uh, you know, the other fighting him characters have, Ryu, Ken, Kazuya, uh, and yet he's the only one that's unable to do this on the platforms. And just, I'm not talking shit, I just wanna show you, it's literally just Terry. So here are the two other fighting him characters. Ken's the same as Ryu, so it's fine that I'm just showing these. And again, let's go frame by frame. One, two, wait a frame, Nair. And it's immediate, right? It comes out another another frame afterwards, but it's the same, right? And then one, two, wait a frame, double jump, right? It's instant. One, two, wait a frame, and then do an aerial. Okay, interesting. Wait a frame, up air. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I lied apparently. Ryu and Ken also have uh, this being slightly worse, but it's not nearly as bad as Terry's. Instead of waiting one frame and then having the extra frame of lag, it actually waits for five frames instead of Terry's ten. So it is technically worse to do this with the Shotos, but a three frame difference is a lot different than a ten frame difference, so it ends up not mattering. Like, this is still incredibly fast, right? Like, technically, yes, it is slower, especially compared to, like, Kazi doing the same thing. Uh, but also, like, Ryu's Nair is frame 2, so, like, whatever, right? Like, you're not going to notice the same thing, right? Like, this still feels exactly the same, even if it's technically slightly slower. Um, so, it's fine, right? It's not nearly as big of a difference as Terry's. Um, again, maybe you got to be a little bit more careful with the fast falls. But it has a lot less applicably bad stuff, because I'm still going to be scared here of the Shoto uh, when they are dropping through platform, and I'm also going to be scared of the Kazuya when dropping through platform because they still have these mechanics that are still good enough, right? Whereas Terry's is going to be a lot worse, and he can't do anything in the middle of it. Uh, so even though technically worse for Ryu and Ken, same for Kazuya as other characters, like you still have to be scared of Kazuya coming down here and using an aerial, right? You still have to be scared of his drop through electric, you know what I'm saying? Or his drop through Nair into Rage Drive or whatever he wants to do, right? Why is that a combo? Well, and you still have to be scared of Ryu and Ken dropping through and doing Nair, but you don't have to be scared of Terry doing the same thing. It means his out of shield options, if you pressure Terry on a platform with like an up tilt, it's going to be a lot harder for him to get punishes because he can't just drop through platform and hit you. Granted, it's hard to do that as every character because you have to wait your 11 frames of drop shield plus the drop through animation plus the aerial startup, so it's going to be hard to do that anyway. Moves have to be at least like minus 20 in order to hit them through platform effectively. But against Terry, you can almost be minus like 30 because he has to do his 11 frames of shield drop and then have 10 extra frames of waiting along with the two frames of the initial drop through platform and then he has the startup of his moves. So it has to be like literally minus 25 on a tall character in order to get punished or minus 26. Whereas that's literally the only character in the game where that's the case. Even off of like a parry, it would still be really, really, really hard for Terry to get a punish here. No other character in the game will have that effect. So yeah. 
I hope you learned something in this video. I know a lot of people enjoyed the Zero Suit video where she can't fast fall air dodge, so I wanted to find like these little weird tidbits uh, on other characters, and I've had this one kind of in the, you know, back room for a while, but I forgot to record it. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what other weirdness exists or that you want me to, like, you know, just look into, and maybe I'll make a video on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.